fuzzy bat butts. Today we are doing a very, very fun video and I can't wait to get started, so let's get started. I am doing the closet confidential tag. I don't know why I've started doing that recently, the little rainbow thing, very SpongeBob imagination. But today I'm doing the closet confidential tag. My videos that have to do with my closet or with clothing seem to get a lot of views, so I'm going to suspect that you guys like clothing like I do. So let's take a nice dive into my closet to see the deepest and darkest parts of things that you guys maybe haven't seen yet that I own. The Closet Confidential tag, I did get the idea from It's Black Friday, so if you would like to see her video on her Closet Confidential, be sure to take a little trek over to her channel and check it out. Question number one. What is the oldest item in your closet? So the oldest item in my closet is this body line coat that I got a very, very long time ago. I honestly can't even remember when I got this. I want to say I got this in 2009 or 2010. The coat's hood has little kitty ears, which was the main appeal of buying it. I never wear it because it's a size extra large. It was the only size left on their website, but I wanted it so badly that I bought it anyways. It just buttons up the front. It's like a peacoat material. It's very thick. There's nothing special on the back. Um, the bottom has fur and lace, and so do the sleeves. Whenever I bought this initially, Ugh, I can't get over the kitty ears. I was so excited about it. I was going to tailor it to make it fit me, sew it in. I still haven't gotten around to doing it. I wear it in the winter whenever it snows. It's actually a very warm coat and works very well. The downside is how big it is, so it makes me kind of look like an Oompa Loompa whenever I have it on. Eventually, though, I will tailor it to fit me and I will wear it all the time. But this is the oldest item in my closet. Um, I don't really wear it as much as I used to. I know I just said I wear it whenever it snows, but like I don't usually wear it in the winter simply because it kind of looks like a Santa Claus type jacket. And the only reason I say that is because whenever I do wear it, I have a lot of like people that are really country and redneck where I live and they're like, oh, you look like a gothic Santa Claus. And it's really annoying to hear all the time. What is the newest item in my closet? That is question number two. Two. I am an assistant manager at Hot Topic and the store that I work at right now is having a deal where it's buy two, get one free and we get our employee discount on top of that. So I have three items to show you for my new item, newest item in the closet because I got them together. This dress is one of them. It's a knit dress and it's got lace on the bottom and up top it has this really cool Victorian knit baby doll look. It's by a company called Midnight Hour and it's very true to size. It's a size small and I love it so much. It has gathering right here on the waist. It's just a really soft cotton material. I don't even think it's cotton. I don't know what it is, but it's super soft and I love it. It fits awesome and it's great for those days when you just feel like being a little bit more lazy with the way you dress. You can see up close the collar is super cute and right here this ribbon is actually velvet. One of my favorite fabrics in the world is velvet. The next thing I got is this dress that you guys probably saw on my Halloween video. And if you haven't, it's what I'm wearing in my Halloween video. I love the corset right here. And then there's lace. And down on the bottom, they actually have a petticoat under the dress. So if I lift this up, you can see the petticoat. Very nice. And it is by, oh, it's just a Hot Topic brand dress. So it's by Hot Topic and um, you can see like there's music notes and pianos and violins all over it and music sheets. I just, I really loved this dress. It was, they had one earlier this year that was brown with music notes all over it and it had the same kind of um, layout design but I didn't buy it because it was brown. So whenever they had this one come out in black, I had to have it. My next new item is this coat which I love very much. And I keep buying jackets and coats because I really am truly obsessed with jackets and coats. I really prefer to wear them with everything, but due to the summer heat, I haven't been able to. Um, the back has a cute little tail coat, you can see. Aww. It's very cute, I like it. And it ties, it's another little corset back. 
And on the front, it's very like military-esque and you can see there's damask pattern with it. This one is by Hearts and Roses. And yes, so I actually had ordered this from the Hot Topic website and they had it sent to my store. If you guys want your Hot Topic stores to carry more gothic items, be sure to order what you want inside the store, like go inside the store and ask them to order it on their computer because whenever you do that, it logs in the store what is bought in the store and then they will stock the store with what people are buying. So if you want more gothic items in the store, be sure to like purchase stuff like this from the store, in store, online. Number three, what's the most expensive item that you own in your closet? It would have to be this Spin Doctor dress that I got four or five years ago. I got it right whenever it came out and I paid about maybe, I want to say I paid like 110, 115 with tat or with shipping. Um, I had ordered it from Hot Topic. This was a long, long time ago. It is Spin Doctor. It's super cute. There's a hood on the dress, which I like. It looks very witchy. I've worn it occasionally. I usually save it for special events. And down on the bottom, it's gathered really cute. And there's lace and there's just lots of fullness. And all the way around, you can see there's these PVC straps. It looks very post-apocalyptic. Up here, there's a corset tie in the front. And it zips up the back and it has some gathering in the back and the front right here under the hood you can see that there's like a mesh material where the hood is not I really love this dress and though I did spend a lot of money on it it's been worth it because I've been able to get a lot of use out of it I bought it initially for convergence whenever it was out in Austin Texas and I did wear it to that gothic event but since then I wear it sporadically to clubs or for live shows with my band esoteric on the bottom though I just really love the bottom of the dress I love the gathering it's very cool. Number four, what is the cheapest, most inexpensive item in your closet? That would be this skirt that I got off of eBay probably last year. And it's by Sexpot, uh, which is a Japanese clothing brand. And I really like it. It has like the punk vibe, very visual kai. And you can see like there's little straps right here. And it's funny because there's English on the front and it says drug spider sex pot so I don't know like what drug spider is supposed to be but this skirt is really cute and I love wearing it I just think that it's really fun I'm super into like some of the Japanese clothing lines so whenever I saw this on eBay I had to have it I only paid ten dollars for this by the way that's why it's my most inexpensive because I'm pretty sure sex pot goes for a lot more than that but yeah I paid ten dollars with shipping for this skirt and I'm really pleased with purchasing it I think it's cute. Number five, what was the biggest bargain that you have in your closet? What's the best buy in your closet? That would have to be this plaid dress that is a hell bunny dress. I only paid $23 for this from Hot Topic. They were clearing out all of their clearance and I found it on their website. Literally, as soon as I bought it, it wasn't available anymore. So I don't know if this was the last one or what was going on with it, but it looks very like punk lowly. And I love it. The bottom has cute, it's so cute. And the back laces up, which it's kind of, it's unlaced right now. Sorry, beautiful dress that you have been not getting the proper attention you deserve. And then it has these little guys that you can tighten and loosen the straps. I love the O-rings on it. And the front is just super cute. It's um, very gothic Lolita and I was just super thrilled whenever I saw it on their website. And you can see it has lots of room for you to add petticoats under it and make it more cute. Um, normally I have this side tied too, but. And then right here, it's mesh. Really, really cute. It's by Hell Bunny. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's by Hell Bunny. And it's a size medium. I really should have got a size small, but the size medium was all that was left on the website. So I sucked it up and I bought it because I could not resist. And up on this side, it has like, uh, the skirt is angled up a little bit more and there's little gathering of black material, if you can see. <sighs> I love this dress. It's such a visual treat. I'm happy that I 
found it for the good price that I found it for. Number six, what's the biggest waste of money in your closet? That would have to be this Hot Topic line Cinderella dress, and I know that I featured it in my monthly favorites. That was before I had worn it. <laughs> I hate this dress so much. I don't hate the way it looks. I think it is a fucking adorable dress. I love the Lolita look, and I love the pattern on it. What I hate are these sleeves. These cap sleeves are so itchy and they hurt so much that it actually scarred me, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a scar right here from that dress. The dress scarred me and I think you can see it on this side too. I wore it for uh, five or six hours and it scarred me. It cut open my arm. This part of the dress cut open my arm and it left a scar behind. No article of clothing should ever do that to you, and it wasn't a matter of it not fitting me, because it fit me fine, but it's just poor construction and poor materials, but ugh, I love this dress and it, the layout of the dress, I love the design of the dress, but the execution is horrible and it gave me a scar, therefore I fucking hate it. Bonus question! Show us your three favorite items in your closet as of right now. So my number one favorite is this choker with feathers and beads that I got from RQBL, I think. Is that what it was called? Let me look, let me look at the tag real quick. Yeah, it's RQBL. And I love this choker. If I could, I would wear it with every article of clothing I own. I just am super infatuated with it. It has the feathers and the beads that hang down, and then this lace part, which it's missing a lot of the pearl beads, but that's okay. <laughs> I've worn this a whole bunch. On the back, it buttons up behind your neck. Um, yeah, I just, I really love this collar. If I could, I would wear it with everything, every day. I just really am super infatuated with this piece in my closet. My second favorite item is this lace cape that I have, and I got this in New Orleans in the Vampire Store, Vampire Boutique. It has a hood. This was handmade by an artist in New Orleans as well, which I should definitely state because I think that it's just super beautiful. It's all lace, just a big giant lace cape. And I've had people ask me if it was the same cape as the one that Adora Bat Brat wears in a lot of her um, videos. Like if you watch her Japan videos and stuff, she has a cape on. And I've actually had a few people on Instagram ask me if it's the same brand and it's not. It was handmade by a local artist in New Orleans and I really love it. It has this cute clasp on the front and I feel like it spoofs up any outfit and makes it just like 10 times more gothic. It's so long that it actually drags on the ground behind me, which I think is super majestic. Third favorite is this skirt from Queen of Darkness. I have an inner struggle every day with wanting to wear this skirt with every fucking outfit. I never ever like, I have to resist temptation highly to not wear this skirt all the time. I just love everything about it. I love all the material used. I love the little bats on it. It's just one of my favorite skirts of all time and I really do have to resist hardcore not to wear this every day. I find it so visually pleasing and beautiful. So that is my closet confidential tag. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it entertaining. Uh, feel free down below to suggest new videos that you would like to see and I will do my very, very best to tackle those topics. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you again very soon. Mwah! Goodbye. <laughs>